I'm John Nolan. I'm a physician assistant with Health Force in Dunlap, Tennessee. I'm glad you could join me today. We're going to take about five minutes and talk about contact dermatitis. What is contact dermatitis? Well, it's a type of rash that we see a lot this time of year. The most common cause, poison ivy. And if you don't know what poison ivy looks like, it would behoove you to find out. Poison ivy is a shiny green three-pronged leaf. It's usually growing on a vine on a tree. You can pick up poison ivy by brushing against it with your bare skin or even a dog that has brushed up against a poison ivy leaf. Uh, you can also get it from a uh, cut vine where the uh, oil can come out and hit your skin. And one of the worst ways you can get it is to burn it. If you burn poison ivy and you're exposed to the smoke, it can cover you head to toe. Poison ivy causes a reaction of your skin, which is an allergic response. Now, interestingly, nobody reacts to poison ivy the first time they touch it. It's always the second time. This is true with most of our allergies. As you get the exposure, the first time your body doesn't recognize it, but if it decides that you are allergic to it, the second time you touch it, your body will react. And this is called a histamine reaction. And it can cause severe itching and whelps and rashes, and it can be spread by scratching it and spreading it around your skin. Now, contrary to popular belief, it does not get into your blood and it can't run through your system that way. It's got to be transmitted across your skin, usually by scratching or bathing. So you need to learn what poison ivy looks like. You need to either learn to stay away from it or if you see it, kill it so that you don't have to deal with it. And products like Roundup do a great job. Now what happens if you do get into it and you don't know it's there? How do you deal with it? Well, it can be a mild reaction, can stay localized in one area. If that's the case, you can apply, you, first of all, you want to clean it well with soap and water, and you want to try to get it cleaned off within 20 minutes of exposure. Uh, plain soap and water works fine. You don't need to worry about bleach. Uh, a lot of people swear by bleach, and bleach can actually create a dermatitis of its own. Secondly, uh, you can apply an over-the-counter cortisone cream. Uh, those are very effective. They're not as strong as the prescriptions. Uh, strength cortisone creams, but they're very effective and you would apply them four times a day and what even makes that cream work better is to cover it with handy wrap. Uh, if you're itching a lot, you can also use a product such as Caladryl, which has Benadryl in it and it will give you the benefit of Benadryl, which is an antihistamine, without the side effects of taking it orally. If you're really reacting and you're really itching, Feel free to get over-the-counter Benadryl or diphenhydramine, 25 milligrams. You can take one or two every four hours as needed, and it will help control that histamine level. So again, avoid it if you can, and if you do get exposed to it, treat it uh, quickly with quick washing and then topical application of steroids. What are some of the other forms of contact dermatitis? Well, you can, if you're allergic to something and you come up against it, it can cause a breakout. One of the most common things people react to is nickel. People don't realize that. Nickel is something found in most jewelry, unless it's 24 karat gold or above. So if you're wearing jewelry, particularly earrings in women or men, and you're having a localized reaction, consider the fact that it might be uh, nickel. Uh, you can avoid this by either buying and using nothing but 24 karat uh, gold jewelry or use some of the newer plastic uh, type of jewelry which uh, will not give you that type of reaction. So in summary, um, during this time of year, poison ivy is out and about. Uh, if you come upon it, avoid it. If you can't and you get a reaction to it, uh, you know how to treat it. Uh, also remember your pets. Uh, if they're outdoor dogs and cats, they also can transmit it to you on their fur. So be safe. Have a great summer. And if you have problems that you can't get over this, then check with your family doctor or come see us here at Health Force in Dunlap, Tennessee.